Groundwater is very important to Oregonians. If we look across the state, there's over 300,000 wells that have been installed. Some of the groundwater in the Willamette Valley has been dated at 1,000 years old. Pendleton area, some of that water has been dated at 20,000 years old. And that, that underscores the, the gravity of the situation when it comes to uh, groundwater depletion, is that we're simply taking the water out of the ground faster than it's going in. If we were to take a cake knife and slice it east-west through the Willamette Valley, what you'd see is uh, layers of sediment. The groundwater, even in the deeper aquifers, is flowing from areas of high hydraulic head where the water is being recharged towards the lower hydraulic head or the rivers. So ultimately, the, the, the large rivers like the Willamette River and the Columbia River are the regional hydraulic sinks. All of the groundwater is trying to make it to those rivers. What would happen if I happen to own this well and I started to pump it, I can impact people's water levels and wells uh, miles away from there. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say I'm a homeowner with a shallow well located near a lake, kind of like living near Lake Oswego. If I start to pump the well uh, to take care of my lawn as well as my house, you can see I can probably start to impact the water level in the lake nearby. I think the bottom line is of this. We're all in this together. Shallow well owners, deep well owners, we need to take better care of our groundwater resources here in Oregon.